How's it going fellow Aquarists? My name is Kent and today on Aqualab Uncensored, we're going to be unboxing an ADA light screen. We have here the 60 centimeter version. We're planning to set it up on a new Aquascape. So let's check it out a little closer. The light screen does have an adjustable dimmer switch which allows you to control the intensity of the backdrop. In particular, that's very helpful if you're doing photography or other videography and need some control over the illumination on the background. The screen also comes with a gradation sheet to allow you to have a nice, attractive gradient that goes from a blue down to white. It can help create the appearance of a skyline or just you know a gradient to the background that makes it for a little more visual interest. Otherwise, if you choose to install it without the background, it will be a frosted, glowing white appearance. So, interestingly, the light screen mounts by using clips that then attach to the top edge of the rim and essentially lets it hang on the back of the aquarium. All right, so let's see how she looks. Light her up. Always wanted to say that. So if you notice, the illumination coming from the center panel of the panel isn't very intense, which actually creates a much more gentle, glowing effect that is going to be, I think, uh, easier on the eyes and again, easier to appreciate and photograph. As mentioned, the dimmer switch allows you to vary the intensity so that you can get just the right intensity that you want for your display aquarium. Here is full intensity right here. And there's as low as I can make it. So for our installation, we wanna use the blue gradient film and so it needs to be installed to the aquarium tank itself, not to the light screen. So make sure you install that gradient on your tank. So let's get started with that. You're gonna need a bottle of RODI and a squeegee tool to help you squeegee out the air and water that is required to install. So installing the light screen gradient is pretty much like installing any other vinyl black background to your aquarium. So you wanna make sure the surface itself is free of all grease and grime and anything that might get caught in between the film and the glass itself. So a cursory cleaning with a cloth and some RODI water so you don't get any mineral deposits might be a good idea. All right, so I'm gonna flip this tank onto its face to make it easier for me to install. Make sure to spray down the glossy side of the film. And then spray down the application surface. The liquid, what it does is it allows you time in order to place down the vinyl and then square it up with the aquarium. Without the liquid there, it would be very difficult to slide this across the glass and square it up the way you'd like. So once you got it squared, then you get your squeegee and you start working out the bubbles and the water. Just like any aquarium background installation. One limitation to be aware of when installing the light screen is that because the power port is directly located on the bottom and it's actually a permanent attachment, uh, when placing it on a 60 centimeter aquarium, you need to allow the screen to overhang on the back of your cabinet or counter or whatever. Otherwise, the screen won't be able to fully sit down on the aquarium. Let me show you what I mean. So here we have a 60U UNS Aquarium. I put the clips on, but if you notice, right now this right side doesn't want to go down because of the power cable coming out the bottom there. And unfortunately, unless I raise up the aquarium slightly, or unless I hang it over the back, 
uh, it's not going to really work out as perfectly as I'd like. So we're going to go ahead and push it back so we have some hanging on the back and it'll look a lot better. 